called a different ERP. So we should not call this an upgraded version of Oracle release 12. Okay, and and the, the current version of Fusion is release 11. And uh, in release 11, there are few features which, I mean, there are few supply chain features which are still not working, I mean, like advanced pricing and all. Okay, but coming to financials, they have provided almost all the features. Okay, when almost all the features are up and running. Okay, except uh, some file-based uploads and all. Okay, there are there are some issues with Excel uploads and all. Okay, let's see uh, uh, what what are the differences which uh, um, which we have when compared with uh, release 12 versus Oracle Fusion. So as of now, I mean, uh, the, these uh, the below or the set modules are uh, clear and uh, covered up uh, as part of Oracle Fusion. So GL fixed asset account receivable account payable purchasing inventory and order management. Okay, though so this is widely being used by G um, and G, uh, G digital actually. Okay, so okay. So now, so basically, when we we try to bring down some uh, comparisons with release 12i. Okay, and let's see when let us see the differences of uh, GL release 12 versus Oracle Fusion and FA release 12 versus Fusion ER release 12 versus fusion okay so basically i mean i would i would quote this uh, oracle fusion applications application as a very much sophisticated application so when i see a sophisticated there are many additional features which has been brought in as part of oracle fusion release okay now uh, when this fusion application strongly support uh, shared services business unit operation model Okay, so you might be aware of this uh, shared service uh, operations business model. Lakshmi, do let me know if you are not following up or if you have any questions. Feel free to yeah. raise okay. okay, your hand in question. Okay. Yeah. So, so I will take this uh, um, differences. Before taking up. Okay, let me open this Excel sheet. Okay, now see. Uh, so in in release, I mean, there is also a slight change in the terminology which which is being used uh, as part of Oracle Fusion. So uh, when when we say ledger, I mean, uh, in in Fusion also it is called as ledger, and uh, the uh, the updated uh, uh, the updated capabilities of Oracle Fusion is it it maintains a space cube. Okay, so as soon as um, as soon as you post your journal entry, automatically this SBase cube is updated. So basically, this SBase cube uh, is uh, used for the dashboard reporting purpose. So even um, when these this SBase cube is uh, generated based on the chart of account structure and accounting calendar, accounting calendar and currency. Okay. So it, all you have to do is you have to complete your accounting setup. Okay which is similar to release 12. Okay, so once you complete your accounting, automatically system Oracle Fusion instance creates an SBase queue and that particular SBase queue can be used as a, or can be used for uh, extracting the reports out of that particular uh, SBase queue. So that's the beauty of this particular uh, feature. And we can deep dive in at a, at a later point. Okay. And Coming to legal entity, they have not changed any terminology. Okay, now uh, legal entity, the term uh, legal entity is similar to release 12, like, except the except the fact that okay, I mean uh, establishment in EBS is same as uh, is is similar to or it is called as legal legal reporting unit in Fusion. Okay, so basically they used to cause uh, well while we are creating a legal entity we used to call as establishment okay that the same is called as legal reporting infusion okay so a, a small terminology change but ideally the functionality does not differ a lot okay now here comes the business unit okay so in in, in release 12 uh, we used to call that as operating unit okay now coming back to fusion now they are calling as business unit okay now, uh, the, some technically there are a few changes like uh, when Infusion, 
orgidee, I mean in, in release 12 I, uh, orgidee is referred as org underscore id, but coming to uh, fusion, business unit id is referred as bu underscore id, okay. So, uh, when this is how, uh, uh, this is how it works and for every, uh, for, for this particular business unit or when once you create an operating unit versus business unit in Oracle Fusion, okay, and automatically a role is role which is similar to responsibility again is created automatically by the system, okay. So, uh, so th these are the, in, in Fusion we assign business functions like requisitioning, requisitioning, purchasing, receiving and invoicing to a BU to improve support of shared services. And in addition to that, we use a reference data set. Okay, when, when I say reference data set, okay, I'll quote an example like this. So I have a list of 50 payment terms. Okay, now this 50 payment terms, I'll group into a reference data set. Okay, so basically what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to group all the master, at, master data item like payment terms, mm, transaction types, and I, 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 I attach it to a reference data set. Okay, so that, see for example, let me, let me put it this way. Um, see, I, I have created 10 payment terms, and I'm, I'm saying that particular payment terms is shared payment terms. So when I say shared payment terms, when I shared payment term, refers to a refers to a um, reference data set okay now if i am using the same shared payment terms reference data set for a business for for a different business unit whatever the payment terms which which are created as part of all these business unit one can be seen as part of business unit two okay lakshmi are you following me uh, do you have any doubt on this reference data set so until and unless you see the configuration probably you will not understand that. So what I was trying to see out here is, see for example, I'm having immediate payment term and I'm having 30 days as payment term. Now I'm assigning this to a, a reference data set called common, okay? This is, I have created these payment terms for operating unit one. Now, if I have to see below payment terms for a different business unit, okay? Now say uh, this business unit belongs to USD prime nature. Okay. Now I'm creating one uh, um, South African uh, primary ledger, and here my business unit is ZARBU. Okay. And if I am using my reference data set as common, whatever the payment terms created over here can be used for this business unit as well. That okay. is the concept here. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty, pretty simple and straightforward, okay. When I say reference data set as shared, those master data or those items are available for a different business unit. So you can expose all these master items to a different business unit or across the instance. If at all if you are having, if you are using that particular shared business unit, then you will be able to see that. That's the context of business unit over here. Okay. Okay. Now coming back to uh, key flexi field structure. Okay. So when um, when earlier we were having five uh, segment qualifiers. Now here coming back to they have added two more segment additional uh, two segment qualifiers as part of uh, um, as part of Oracle Fusion release. Okay. So in addition to primary balancing segment, you have a segment secondary and uh, third balancing segment. So meaning to say, in addition to company code, assume that your primary balancing segment is company code. So, and, your, and you have, you, you do your accounting on department basis or if client is asking that I need to do um, my accounting on company code and department. So what I can do is I can say my department as secondary balancing segment so that whenever system creates an accounting entry, it creates an accounting entry basing on the combination of company code versus department. I don't say company code versus department, 
I would say company core and department. So that's how the so basically the uh, the if you are assigning a secondary balancing segment to a different segment, system automatically creates your uh, balancing entries in such a way that it is um, it is it is following primary, secondary, and third balancing segment. So that's the concept over here. I don't know, Laksh Lakshmi, if you are following this. Okay, do let me know if you have any question on this. Sure. Uh, uh, when, when, when we are adding segment values, okay, so all the segment values we have to link. When each segment value should should be linked with parent. Okay. So when I say a parent can have multiple uh, child values, but usage of parent value for the child segment values is mandatory. Okay. So meaning to say, you have to say that you have to say a segment value. If you are creating a segment value, definitely this particular segment value has to be linked with your parent segment value. Okay. So you can create your hierarchy. Um, hierarchy in such a way that you can you can assign your great grandfather grandfather um, parent and and child relationship okay so basically they use this uh, parent notes and hierarchies to build uh, boardroom reports so when i say boardroom reports it's, uh, it's, so it's a uh, ready 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 to go dashboards uh, discussed uh, at, at a very high 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 level meetings uh, by the management. Okay, so uh, this is one functionality uh, which is very nice, uh, like parent note in hierarchies. And coming back to uh, descriptive flexi field. Okay, the same. Uh, uh, I mean, it, the, I mean, it has the same functionality as Artwell, when except some some changes. So, few of the context segments which is used in release 12, I, uh, release 12 might not work in Fusion, okay. But uh, in here, uh, um, in, in Fusion, the descriptive flexi field uh, uh, usage has to be limited at any cost, okay, because when um, it is really hard to define descriptive flexi field values uh, in, in Fusion as application, okay. Now the other uh, uh, other very good feature of uh, Fusion is now in in Art well we used to have mass allocation as future uh, as as mass allocation as uh, allocating uh, for, uh, for allocation of various expenditure to various departments, but coming back to VR Fusion, uh, we have a separate module kind of stuff called uh, calculation ma manager. So we'll not call this as a separate module. Instead, I would say this is an add-on, application add-on, uh, which is used for, uh, which is used exclusively for um, uh, doing your mass allocation, for doing, do, uh, for doing your allocations, consolidations, and elimination process. Okay, so this is one very good feature of uh, Oracle Fusion. So it, it can even create uh, it, it can compute and again uh, post the journal entries into respective sub respective ledgers as well. So if at all, um, if at all, if your calculation or if your allocations is across ledgers, what system does is the calculation manager computes the balances and posts the accounting entries in that calculation manager. So that's the beauty of this particular calculation manager. Now uh, coming to financial uh, reports, uh, okay. So, so I would I would not see I would not uh, know people using global consolidation system and uh, GCS in uh, release 12. Okay, so and very very few people are aware of this global consolidation system, and very few of us use this global consolidation system. So, when we see global consolidation, when it is consolidating your financial information. Um, uh, I mean across ledgers. Okay, so that's that's we call as global consolidation system. Coming back to financial report, I mean Infusion, they have uh, made it um, uh, very simple. 
okay whatever the consolidation and financial reporting uh, they have made it seem simple in infusion now coming to uh, uh, coming to release rely on uh, journal entry support functionality journal entry support functionality uh, in in release 12 i we used to use web ads functionality okay now coming to fusion we we call it as adf uh, uh, adfdi so uh, so this is how all the uh, all the key uh, key activity is uploaded into system so adfdi is widely used in oracle fusion for uploading journal entries um, payable invoices assets okay etc so even even this is used for receivable invoice as well okay so so in in release 12 i we we were not having uh, ap invoice upload functionality and uh, er invoice upload functionality so this uh, adfdi is an extension is a is a macro excel macro which which links to oracle fusion instance and uploads those journal activities into fusion instance Okay. Now, the other feature of Oracle Fusion has been uh, for uh, when FSG has been replaced, or I would not say has been replaced, when FSG is extended as Hyperion FR Studio in Oracle Fusion. So, uh, when from front end, what you see is you see an accounting dashboard. You can build your own reports in uh, in this particular studio. When I'm at to explore. Uh, this particular uh, uh, Hyperion FR Studio function, but however, when I see uh, whatever the report, the, the BI reports can be widely used, and an and additional template can be attached. Uh, an Excel uh, template can be attached. An XML template can be attached to the uh, data so that uh, uh, your uh, reporting is completed. Okay, and you you can create your own. Uh, uh, reports on your own users can create their own reports okay you don't for simple reports i would not say complex report but for simple reports now uh, coming to functional setup manager and uh, so basically when uh, functional setup manager is widely used the when in fusion so when when i say functional setup manager and it has all common common financial modules okay as part of this as part of functional setup manager in release 12 we have an individual responsibility where you have to go and as assign receivables manager payables manager functional responsibilities to user okay whereas if you are taking uh, in infusion you have to do your uh, uh, functional setup manager responsibility wherein you have all um, all common setups can be used can, can be made using this particular functionality like receivables payables fixed assets cash management so these are the major at uh, summarized high level differences of release well, like when we deep dive into application we might find a few more and uh, we, we can uh, we can note it as and when each, uh, as and when we see the difference but this when I would like to stop this session.